Hey, this is Joe from Data Phantom and Happy New Year to everyone. In, in this video, we're going to introduce a new series called Short Circuit. In this series, the video tutorials are going to be really short, under 7 minutes, because usually my video tutorials are really long, so in this one, I promise you, it's going to be under 7 minutes for all the videos under this Short Circuit tutorial series. So in this tutorial what we're going to learn how to create is a, a similar effect to what you see on the screen. So you see that the background has a gradient and you also see the rays, all those rays at the end. Now this is commonly known as sunburst and in, that's what we're going to learn how to create in this tutorial. So without much into that, let's jump right into the tutorial and see how to create that effect. Here I have a, a new a blank document in Inkscape. So now we're gonna create this really fast. We're gonna take the the circle or the ellipse and you're gonna start drawing the ellipse and you press control to keep it symmetric. And you have to drag diagonally so you, you draw a circle in, and not an ellipse. So once you have the circle you can just select it, use the select tool and you have it selected and then you can go, go to path and then object to path or you could also click Control Shift and the letter the letter Z as in as in cowboy. So you select that and then what it does is converts the circle into a path. So now that we have that, we select all the nodes in that circle and we click here where it says uh, uh, break the path the, of the nodes. So what essentially what it does is it breaks all that other circle into different paths. So you now have three arcs and I mean four arcs. Those four arcs come from the circle. Now you have that. You have that. Let's create uh, a rectangle. The rectangle doesn't matter. And you're, I'm just going to put the, the width of 36 pixels. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to path and then object to path. And what it does is it converts the, the, the the rectangle into a path. So I'm going to delete one of the nodes in one side. So it leaves me with three nodes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to center this object, this node here around that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now select all the nodes and click here where it says make uh, selected segment lines. So it deletes all those Bezier corners. Now you have that. Okay, so now it looks like it's in the middle, but let's do it the right way. So now you, you once you have that just click select here where it says align and distribute objects and you get a pop up window like this. Now here you go down here select or it says nodes and you click here which is distribute selected nodes horizontally. And now that ensures that you got a perfect triangle. Now you got you have that take that triangle and then you select this where it says to select the nodes and you click control C or go here where it says edit and then copy. Now select this circle path and then go to path, path effects editor and you click that and now select here where it says apply new effects, select pattern along path and then click add. Now make sure you have this selected and you again click edit and copy. Now select this and on the path here on the effect click here it says paste path. Now what you get there is something that you might not want but let's select this. Instead of pattern copy select repeated stretch. Now I get a little something something going on here. Now let's do something. Spacing let's put 18 and let's put 18. So in the spacing you put 18 and on the tangential offset just put 18 too. So now you get this. Now you can play around with the width and and uh, and the size to make a uh, 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 the number of arrays that you want, but this is going to be good for us. Now, once you have this selected, click on path, and then uh, convert object to path. Now you, this is all converted into a path. Now you see all this these uh, nodes here in the middle. Those nodes we want those nodes in the middle. So select all those nodes. Okay, now you have all those nodes and then go again to align and distribute and then align all those to the middle now you see this a little bit crazy and then align all those to the middle again this is horizontally and this is vertical so now why you have that is a sunburst that you want it now 
click here and you see all these nodes that we don't need for example this one select it and delete it select it and delete it and this one select it and delete it and this one too so now we got a perfect sunburst now select all the nodes and then click here to make se segment straight line now this is the effect you get so you have created a sunburst already and now let's put the background to black and let's put the opacity to 100% and you see that you have a sunburst created now this is vector so you can scale it down scale it up and it doesn't lose the quality because it's a vector okay so this is done and this tutorial is finished uh, in the next tutorial we're going to create something cooler than this so be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel to keep my videos my keep track of my videos and um, be also to follow me on twitter at the jet of phantom so see you next time don't forget to subscribe and rate my videos like them or dislike them however you want see you next time